Hey, what up y'all, it's your boy Lil D coming at you from my house with another nursing video. And in today's video, this is part 9 of a 10 part series I am doing here on my channel where I review each class that I complete in the nursing informatics program, which means I only have one more class, which I'm so excited, mostly because I'm tired of writing papers. And if you've been following this journey, you know that there's a lot of them. But before we get into the video, make sure you give this video a like and subscribe. I post two nursing related videos two times a week here on this page on Wednesdays and Sundays. Please hit that notification bell. It really, really helps me out. But yeah, let's get into it. The class I'm going to be talking about today is HCI 670 User Interface Design for Informatics. And the first question that I always answer on these class reviews is if the class is related to nursing informatics, which it completely is. I had about maybe 12 or 13 people that were in my group and all of them were going towards their informatics degree. What you can expect for assignments is just like all the previous courses, you would have two discussion posts a week and three responses a week. Now that's pretty standard, straight across the board, and my teacher's grading on that was not very strict. One thing that was different about this class though is we didn't have as many papers, but we had some case studies that we had to do as our main assignments. And getting into the big assignments, there were eight of them, which means there was a large assignment due every week. We had a total of three papers that ranged from 750 words to 1,000 words, so those weren't too difficult. And then we had two separate assignments where we had to review a case study and answer the questions, but also in APA format. So they were kind of like a paper, but you were more just going through this assignment and trying to answer the questions in your writing. And then the last three assignments kind of went back to back. So the first one, you had to turn it in through Excel because you were creating a workflow. And the last two, you had to create PowerPoint presentations. The first one was about uh, seven to 10 slides and the last one was 12 to 15 slides. And you also had to have presenter notes. The book that we used for this class was Handbook of Informatics for Nurses and Healthcare Professionals sixth edition and this book was provided through GCU when the class opened up the book unlocked so it was all online there's no physical books so far in this program there haven't been any physical books excluding the last class where they were supposed to send me a book but they never got around to doing it so I don't know if that was I don't know whose fault that was but I just thought that was weird in general that we would have a physical book because it's all online. Overall, I thought the class was pretty interesting and I don't say that about all of them, trust me, but it really revolved around the workflow and how these processes are implemented in healthcare facilities and hospitals. Working at the bedside, it just feels like there's always new changes that are being implemented that are affecting us bedside staff. Some good, some not so good. So it's really cool to get into a profession where you can be an advocate for the nurses where typically the nurses are advocates for their patients and see the behind the scenes of what implementing a workflow actually is and the last thing I want to talk about is the grading in the class was my teacher strict on the grading was my teacher lenient on the grading and this really depends on who your instructor is now mine was pretty lenient on the grading as long as you did the work, you got full credit, and if you didn't do the work, you got zero credit. So it was either all or nothing. I ended up passing this class with an A, and that's pretty much it. If you want to check out some of my other class reviews from the Nursing Informatics program, go ahead and check them out right here. I do post two nursing related videos two times a week here on this page, and please hit that like and subscribe button. It really, really helps me out. I can't wait for the final class because I am so close to being done. I think I might vlog just because it's a much longer class. And oh yeah, if you're wondering how long this class was, it was a total of eight weeks. I'll talk to you guys later. Thanks. Bye.